In country families are struggling to put food on the table every day. Many churches are trying to help with food drives. But two news reporter Sarah Goldenberg found donations are down. Here in this room at John 316, there is 10,000 pounds of food. Now, this might look like a lot of food, but they need to more than double that amount in less than two weeks. If, if people had any idea the, the scope and the depth of hunger, even in our own community, I think they'd be a whole lot more proactive. Reverend Steve Whitaker with John 316 Mission in Tulsa says he's never seen hunger like this. He estimates they'll feed more than 5,000 families this Thanksgiving. But so far, only 1,500 turkeys have been donated. I would, I would say there's more than a little bit of anxiety that we're going to be able to meet our goals this year. He says 29% more people have come to John 316 in the last year for food. It will take 25,000 pounds of dry and canned goods to fill the Thanksgiving baskets. But we're hopeful with the way things are right now because we live in a community that is absolutely the most generous community in the entire nation. St. John's Episcopal Church is collecting non-perishable food for 200 families. Oatmeal, potatoes, green beans, corn. Volunteers will hand out Thanksgiving baskets this Sunday to families in need. They're also collecting donations to buy 200 turkeys and 400 pies for families. When I talk to the schools, they're saying, could you do a little bit more this year? We really are seeing more demand. This is the fifth year they've done the food drive. It started out with just a few families and has grown each year. It's important because we don't realize just how much we have. And when you think about how much one sack of food can help a family and how much joy that a kid can get out of having a box of fruit roll-ups of their very own that we all take for granted. For more information on how you can donate to local food drives, just go to our website, kjrh.com. In North Tulsa, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.